In the chaos of our daily lives, it's easy to feel like we're drowning in a sea of stress and uncertainty. Yet there's a way to find calm amidst the storm, a path to inner peace that has stood the test of time. Picture this, despite everything that's thrown at you, work pressures, personal conflicts, unexpected challenges, you can stand firm, unshaken, and serene. This isn't just a dream, it's the essence of Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches us how to master our emotions and reactions to live a more fulfilled life. Today, we're diving into the heart of Stoicism, exploring 10 timeless principles that can transform the way you navigate life's inevitable ups and downs. These principles are not abstract theories, but practical tools that you can apply every day to build resilience and inner strength. Whether you're struggling with a difficult relationship, feeling overwhelmed by your responsibilities, or simply seeking a deeper sense of purpose, the wisdom of Stoicism offers profound insights and practical strategies to help you thrive. Stay with me as we journey through these powerful Stoic teachings. From learning how to maintain a firm purpose in life to mastering the art of emotional control, each principle is a stepping stone to a life where external events no longer dictate your inner peace. By the end of this video, you'll have the knowledge and tools to cultivate a state of calm and confidence, no matter what life throws your way. So let's embark on this transformative journey together and discover how the ancient wisdom of Stoicism can help you achieve unshakable tranquility and true happiness. If you appreciate what we're doing here, a simple free favor I'll ask from you is to hit the subscribe button and don't skip any part of the video. Principle number one, firm purposes. Imagine setting sail on a vast ocean without a clear destination. You drift aimlessly, subject to every shift in the wind and wave. That's what life feels like without a firm purpose, directionless and vulnerable to external forces. Epictetus emphasized the importance of having clear, firm purposes. He said, difficulties show a person's character, and the greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. This isn't just a philosophical musing. It's a call to action. When you have a firm purpose, it's like having a compass that guides you through life's tumultuous seas. This purpose doesn't appear out of nowhere. It's crafted through moments of deep reflection on what truly matters to you. It's not just about career goals or personal achievements, but also about the principles and values you want to dedicate your life to. What do you stand for? What kind of person do you aspire to be? These are the questions you need to answer to find your firm purpose. Once you identify your purpose, it acts as an anchor, grounding you amidst the chaos. Life will throw challenges your way. This is inevitable. But with a firm purpose, these challenges become more manageable. They turn from insurmountable mountains into stepping stones that you can climb. Think of it this way. When your goals and values are crystal clear, the world around you seems to shrink. Colossal challenges become small steps in the journey towards your ultimate purpose. This inner strength, cultivated through stoic wisdom, cannot be easily defeated. A firm purpose is not something you stumble upon by chance. It's the result of deliberate, deep reflection on what genuinely matters to you. This reflection requires time and honesty. You must dig deep into your soul, beyond the superficial desires and fleeting wants, to discover what truly drives you. This might involve re-evaluating your life's direction, shedding old habits, or embracing new perspectives. It's a continuous process of self-discovery and alignment with your true self. Once you've found this purpose and ingrained it into your heart, the next step is to apply diligence to protect and nurture it. This involves perseverance and a steadfast commitment to your goals. It's about showing up every day, even when the going gets tough. It's about pushing through setbacks and failures, knowing that they are part of the journey. Remember, a firm purpose isn't just a destination. It's a guiding light that helps you navigate life's journey with confidence and resilience. Think of a firm purpose as a beacon in the night. It not only guides you, but also provides a sense of security and stability. When life's whirlwinds try to pull you off course, your firm purpose acts as a life buoy, 
keeping you from sinking into the sea of emotions and difficult circumstances. This is the power of Stoicism. It's not just a set of rules for living. It's a profound understanding of the power of will and determination. Epictetus reminds us that true power lies in our ability to stay committed to our purpose, despite external obstacles. In the light of this philosophy, nothing is impossible, and nothing can shake your resilient spirit. So take some time to reflect deeply on your purpose. Write it down, internalize it, and let it guide you. This firm purpose will be your anchor, your beacon, and your unwavering guide through the storms of life. Principle number two, guarding your mind. When someone offends us, it's natural to feel hurt and want to retaliate. But here's where stoicism steps in with a powerful lesson. Our emotions are the result of our thoughts and personal perspectives. This means we have the power to choose how to respond to any situation. Instead of letting offense overwhelm us, we can see it as an opportunity to strengthen our patience and self-awareness. Think of it like this. Every time you resist the urge to react impulsively, you're building a mental muscle. You're training your mind to remain calm and composed no matter what. Mind control is not just a skill. It's an art that requires daily practice. Start with small habits that help you regain control over your thoughts. For instance, set small, achievable goals every day. Each time you accomplish a goal, no matter how minor, you build self-confidence and reinforce your ability to control your mind. Focus on living in the present moment and deepening your understanding of your emotions. When you start to realize that you have the power to choose your reactions, you'll become resilient to challenges and less swayed by negative emotions. Consider the story of a baker who dedicates every day to perfecting their craft. This baker isn't swayed by excessive criticism or praise. They focus solely on improving their skills, paying no mind to external opinions. This single-minded dedication allows them to achieve true freedom and inner peace. Similarly, by guarding your mind against external influences, you can focus on your own growth and well-being. Guarding your mind also involves setting boundaries. Be mindful of what you allow into your mental space. Just as you wouldn't let garbage into your home, don't let negative thoughts, toxic people, or harmful media clutter your mind. Surround yourself with positive influences that uplift and inspire you. Read books that expand your knowledge. Engage in conversations that challenge and grow your thinking. And spend time with people who support and encourage you. Stoic philosophy isn't just a classical discipline. It's a powerful tool for modern life. By learning to control our minds and handle our emotions maturely, we can achieve genuine peace and freedom amidst a volatile and uncertain world. This isn't about suppressing emotions, but understanding them deeply and responding in a way that aligns with our values and purpose. One practical technique is to practice mindfulness or meditation. These practices help you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions, creating a gap between stimulus and response. In that gap lies your power and freedom. By regularly practicing mindfulness, you train your mind to observe without immediately reacting, giving you greater control over your emotional landscape. Another aspect of guarding your mind is cultivating a growth mindset. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth rather than threats to your comfort. When you encounter difficulties, remind yourself that every obstacle is a chance to become stronger and wiser. This shift in perspective can transform how you experience adversity, making you more resilient and less susceptible to negative influences. Remember, guarding your mind is a lifelong journey. It's about consistently choosing to focus on what you can control, your thoughts, your responses, and your attitudes. It's about rejecting the victim mentality and embracing the role of an active creator of your own experience. The more you practice, the more natural it becomes. And soon enough, you'll find that external events have less and less power over your inner peace. Principle number three, handling criticism. Epictetus taught that we cannot control the opinions or actions of others, but we can control how we react to them. 
This principle means that even when someone criticizes us harshly, we have the power to decide how much that criticism will affect us. In today's world, this translates to accepting that everyone has their own perspectives and values, which may not always align with ours. It's normal to encounter differing opinions and sometimes harsh words. What matters is how we process and respond to these situations. The first step in handling criticism is understanding ourselves deeply. When you have a clear understanding of your motivations and the reasons behind your actions, criticism from others loses its sting. If you know you are acting according to your values and principles, negative words from others become less significant. This self-awareness creates a strong foundation that protects you from being easily swayed by external opinions. When faced with criticism, instead of reacting defensively, take a moment to pause and reflect. Ask yourself if there is any truth in the criticism. Sometimes even harsh feedback can contain valuable insights that can help us grow. This doesn't mean you have to accept all criticism as valid, but being open to considering it shows maturity and a willingness to learn. Stoicism also teaches the importance of patience and gentleness. Patience allows us to maintain our composure and not react hastily or negatively to criticism. Gentleness helps us maintain good relationships with others, even when they disagree with us or criticize us. Think of the lives of saints and ascetics who faced harm and insults with patience and kindness, always holding fast to their chosen path. By practicing patience and gentleness, we can handle criticism without letting it disrupt our inner peace. Handling criticism also involves developing a thick skin. This doesn't mean becoming indifferent or ignoring feedback, but rather building resilience. It's about understanding that not all criticism is about you. Sometimes people criticize others because of their own insecurities, frustrations, or misunderstandings. By recognizing this, you can depersonalize the criticism and not let it affect your self-worth. Remember that you have the power to choose your response. This freedom is central to Stoic philosophy. Just because someone criticizes you doesn't mean you have to accept their judgment as the final word on your character or abilities. You can choose to take what's useful and discard the rest. This selective approach to handling criticism allows you to grow without being weighed down by negativity. Engaging in constructive dialogue is another effective way to handle criticism. If the criticism comes from someone close, like a friend or family member, consider discussing it with them. Ask for clarification and express your perspective calmly. This not only helps resolve any misunderstandings, but also strengthens your relationships by fostering open communication and mutual respect. Handling criticism effectively can inspire others. When people see you responding to criticism with grace, composure, and a willingness to learn, they are likely to admire your strength and follow your example. You become a role model for resilience and emotional intelligence, embodying the principles of stoicism in everyday life. Principle number four, transforming offense. Epictetus taught that what frightens and dismays us is not the events themselves, but how we think about them. This means that when someone offends you, it's not their words or actions that hurt you, but rather your perception and reaction to those words or actions. In other words, the power lies within you to decide how much an offense will impact you. This principle is liberating because it shifts the control from external circumstances to your internal world. Transforming offense isn't about denying your emotions. It's natural to feel hurt or angry when you're offended. Stoicism teaches us to acknowledge these emotions without being controlled by them. It's about creating a space between the stimulus and your response. In that space lies your power to choose a response that aligns with your values and long-term goals. One practical way to transform offense is through cognitive reframing. When you feel offended, try to look at the situation from a different angle. Instead of focusing on the negative, ask yourself what you can learn from this experience. This doesn't mean you have to agree with the offender but it allows you to extract any potential lessons and grow from them. 
For instance, if a friend criticizes your lifestyle choices instead of taking it personally, consider if there's any merit to their observation or if it's an opportunity to affirm your commitment to your values. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of empathy. When someone offends you, try to put yourself in their shoes. What might they be going through that caused them to act this way? This perspective can help you respond with compassion rather than anger. It's not about excusing bad behavior, but about understanding the human condition and recognizing that everyone has their struggles. Another powerful technique is to practice forgiveness. Holding on to offense and resentment only harms you. It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to suffer. By choosing to forgive, you free yourself from the burden of negative emotions. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning the offense, but rather releasing its hold on you. It's a gift you give yourself, allowing you to move forward with peace and clarity. Stoic philosophy also teaches us that true strength lies in embracing and overcoming difficulties, not in avoiding them. Every offense you encounter is an opportunity to build your resilience. Just like a muscle grows stronger through resistance, your character strengthens through facing and transforming offenses. The more you practice this, the more naturally it will come, until you find that external events have little power to disturb your inner peace. Remember that transforming offense is a practice. It's not something you perfect overnight. It requires patience, self-awareness, and a commitment to personal growth. Each time you choose to transform an offense, you're reinforcing a positive habit and making it easier to respond constructively in the future. Principle number five, overcoming fear and shame. Epictetus pointed out a profound truth. We are the ones who assign meaning to events, thus creating fear and shame within our souls. This means that these emotions are not inherent in the situations themselves, but are products of our interpretations. Once we understand this, we can begin to change the way we perceive and respond to fear and shame. Fear often arises from the unknown or the anticipation of negative outcomes. It's a natural response meant to protect us, but it can become debilitating if left unchecked. Stoicism teaches us to face our fears head on. Instead of avoiding what scares us, we should examine it closely. Ask yourself, what exactly am I afraid of? Break it down into specific concerns. Often, you'll find that the fear loses its power when you analyze it rationally. For instance, imagine you're afraid of public speaking. This fear might stem from the worry of being judged or making mistakes. But by breaking it down, you realize that the audience is not there to judge you harshly. They are there to listen and learn. And even if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Every speaker stumbles at some point. By facing this fear and preparing thoroughly, you gradually build confidence. Each time you speak, you chip away at the fear, and it becomes more manageable. Shame is a deep-seated emotion that can make us feel unworthy or flawed. It often stems from societal pressures or past mistakes. Stoicism teaches us to confront shame with courage and self-compassion. It's about accepting our imperfections and learning from our experiences rather than being defined by them. Consider a situation where you feel ashamed of a past mistake. Instead of allowing this shame to fester, face it directly. Reflect on the mistake and understand why it happened. What can you learn from it? How can you use this experience to grow and become a better person? This process of reflection and learning helps you transform shame into a valuable lesson rather than a source of self-loathing. Another powerful tool in overcoming shame is self-forgiveness. Holding on to shame keeps us trapped in a cycle of self-criticism. By forgiving ourselves, we release the heavy burden and allow ourselves to move forward. This doesn't mean excusing our mistakes, but acknowledging them, learning from them, and then letting them go. It's a crucial step in healing and personal growth. To practice overcoming fear and shame, start with small steps. Expose yourself gradually to situations that trigger these emotions. Use each experience as a learning opportunity. 
Over time, you'll build resilience and find that what once terrified or shamed you no longer has the same hold over you. This gradual exposure and reflection help to desensitize you to the fear and shame, making them more manageable. Stoicism also teaches the importance of community and support. Share your fears and feelings of shame with trusted friends or mentors. Opening up about these emotions can be liberating and provide you with new perspectives and encouragement. Often you'll find that others have faced similar challenges and can offer valuable insights and support. Principle number six, anticipating obstacles. Epictetus suggested that by envisioning potential difficulties along our path, we prepare ourselves to face them calmly and thoughtfully. This isn't about being pessimistic or expecting the worst. It's about being realistic and ready for anything. When you anticipate obstacles, you're not caught off guard when they appear. Instead, you've already considered possible solutions and ways to manage your reactions. One practical way to anticipate obstacles is through a technique called premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils. This involves taking time to visualize potential challenges and consider how you would respond to them. For example, before a big meeting, you might think about what could go wrong, technical difficulties, tough questions, or even personal nervousness. By envisioning these scenarios, you can plan your responses and reduce the impact of surprise. This practice isn't about dwelling on negativity, but about building mental resilience. When you've mentally rehearsed handling difficulties, you're less likely to be thrown off balance when they occur. You become more adaptable and capable of maintaining your composure, which is a hallmark of Stoic philosophy. Anticipating obstacles also means being flexible and open to change. Life rarely goes exactly as planned, and rigid expectations can lead to disappointment and stress. By anticipating that things may not go as expected, you can remain flexible and adjust your plans as needed. This adaptability is crucial for navigating life's uncertainties with grace and effectiveness. Another important aspect of anticipating obstacles is maintaining a balanced perspective. While it's useful to consider potential difficulties, it's equally important to recognize your strengths and resources. Acknowledge the skills, knowledge, and support systems you have that can help you overcome challenges. This balanced approach ensures that you're prepared without becoming overly anxious or negative. Anticipating obstacles helps build patience and perseverance. When you know that challenges are inevitable, you develop a long-term mindset that values persistence over immediate success. You become more patient with the process and more resilient in the face of setbacks. This endurance is a key component of Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes the importance of steadfastness and inner strength. Engaging in regular reflection can also enhance your ability to anticipate obstacles. Take time to review past experiences and identify patterns. What challenges did you face and how did you overcome them? What strategies worked and what could you improve? By learning from your experiences, you can better prepare for future obstacles and refine your approach to problem solving. Incorporating mindfulness practices can further strengthen your ability to anticipate and manage obstacles. Mindfulness helps you stay present and aware allowing you to recognize potential challenges early and respond thoughtfully. It enhances your emotional regulation, ensuring that you remain calm and centered, even in stressful situations. Principle number seven, inner strength and response. Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This simple yet profound statement underscores the essence of inner strength. Our true power lies not in altering external circumstances, but in mastering our inner responses. When faced with adversity, whether it's severe criticism from a trusted friend or an unexpected setback, we have the freedom to choose our response. This choice defines our character and shapes our life. Inner strength is cultivated through self-awareness and deliberate practice. It starts with recognizing your emotions without letting them overwhelm you. This doesn't mean suppressing your feelings, 
but rather observing them and understanding their roots. When you become aware of your emotional triggers, you can better manage your reactions. This self-awareness is the first step towards building inner strength. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. This distinction is crucial for maintaining inner peace. We cannot control other people's actions or opinions, but we can control our attitudes and responses. By focusing on what we can control, we can serve our energy and reduce unnecessary stress. This mindset shift is empowering and helps us stay grounded in the face of external turbulence. Forgiveness is another powerful aspect of inner strength. Holding on to grudges and resentment drains our energy and clouds our judgment. Just as Stoicism teaches us to control our reactions, it also encourages us to practice forgiveness. This doesn't mean condoning harmful behavior, but rather releasing its hold on us. By forgiving, we free ourselves from the burden of negative emotions and create space for healing and growth. Building inner strength also involves developing resilience. Life is full of ups and downs, and setbacks are inevitable. The key is to view these setbacks as opportunities to strengthen your character. Every challenge you face is a chance to practice resilience and perseverance. Over time, this practice fortifies your inner strength, making you more adaptable and less susceptible to life's fluctuations. Stoicism encourages us to seek strength not just in ourselves, but also in our community and faith. Surround yourself with supportive and like-minded individuals who uplift and inspire you. Engage in conversations that challenge and expand your thinking. If you have a spiritual practice, draw on it for strength and guidance. These external sources of support can reinforce your inner strength and provide a sense of belonging and purpose. Practicing gratitude is another effective way to cultivate inner strength. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering a positive mindset even in difficult times. There is always something to be grateful for. By regularly acknowledging and appreciating these positives, you strengthen your emotional resilience and maintain a balanced perspective. Inner strength is also about embracing vulnerability. Acknowledging your fears and insecurities doesn't make you weak, it makes you human. By confronting these vulnerabilities with courage and compassion, you transform them into sources of strength. This self-acceptance is a vital component of inner strength, allowing you to navigate life with authenticity and confidence. Principle number eight, restraining actions. This doesn't mean suppressing your emotions or pretending they don't exist. It means acknowledging your feelings, but not letting them dictate your actions. It's about creating a space between stimulus and response, a moment to reflect and choose the most appropriate course of action. This practice of pausing and reflecting is powerful and can transform how you interact with the world. Consider the example of driving in heavy traffic. Someone cuts you off and your immediate reaction might be anger or even road rage. Instead of acting on this impulse, Stoicism encourages you to pause and consider your response. Will honking or shouting make the situation better? Probably not. By choosing to remain calm, you maintain control over your emotions and actions, leading to a more peaceful and less stressful experience. Another aspect of restraining actions is the ability to delay gratification. In our fast-paced world, we're often tempted to seek immediate rewards and avoid discomfort. However, Stoicism teaches us the value of patience and perseverance. By delaying gratification and working towards long-term goals, we cultivate discipline and resilience. This principle also applies to how we communicate with others. In moments of heated discussion or conflict, it's easy to let emotions take over and say things we might later regret. Stoicism teaches us to practice restraint in our words. Before speaking, consider the impact of your words. Are they constructive? Do they reflect your values? By speaking mindfully and with intention, you can build stronger, more respectful relationships. Practicing self-restraint requires self-awareness and discipline. It's about being conscious of your impulses and actively choosing to control them. 
This might involve setting personal boundaries, practicing mindfulness, or developing new habits that support your goals. For instance, if you tend to procrastinate, create a structured schedule that helps you stay focused and productive. If you struggle with anger, practice relaxation techniques that help you remain calm in stressful situations. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of acting according to reason rather than impulse. This means making decisions based on thoughtful consideration of the situation and its consequences. Imagine you're faced with a significant decision at work. Instead of making a hasty choice, take the time to gather information, weigh the pros and cons, and consider how your decision aligns with your values and goals. This reasoned approach leads to better outcomes and a greater sense of control. Restraining actions is not about becoming passive or avoiding action altogether. It's about being deliberate and intentional in our choices. It's about understanding that our actions have consequences and taking responsibility for them. By practicing self-restraint, we become more effective in achieving our goals and maintaining our inner peace. Engaging in regular reflection can also enhance your ability to restrain actions. Take time each day to review your behavior and consider where you could have exercised more restraint. What triggered your impulses? How could you respond differently in the future? This ongoing self-assessment helps you build greater self-awareness and strengthens your commitment to acting with intention. Another practical approach to restraining actions is to develop a daily mindfulness practice. Mindfulness helps you stay present and aware, allowing you to recognize impulsive urges and choose more thoughtful responses. Whether through meditation, deep breathing exercises, or mindful observation, incorporating mindfulness into your routine can significantly enhance your self-control. Principle number nine, the power of acceptance. Acceptance is the first step towards effective action. When we resist reality, we waste energy and create unnecessary suffering. For example, if you lose your job, it's natural to feel upset and worried about the future. But by accepting the situation, you can focus on what you can do next. Updating your resume, networking, or exploring new career opportunities. This proactive mindset enables you to navigate the challenge more effectively and reduces the emotional toll of the experience. One practical way to cultivate acceptance is through mindfulness and meditation. These practices help you stay present and aware, allowing you to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. By regularly practicing mindfulness, you develop the ability to accept each moment as it comes, with all its imperfections and uncertainties. This acceptance creates a foundation of inner peace and resilience. Stoicism teaches us that acceptance is not about giving up, but about finding strength in adversity. It's about understanding that every event, no matter how challenging, offers an opportunity for growth and learning. When faced with difficulties, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this experience make me stronger? This shift in perspective transforms obstacles into stepping stones for personal development. Acceptance also involves letting go of perfectionism. Many of us strive for perfection in our careers, relationships, and personal achievements. However, this relentless pursuit can lead to stress and dissatisfaction. By accepting that perfection is unattainable, we can appreciate our efforts and progress. This doesn't mean lowering our standards, but recognizing that imperfections are part of the human experience. Embracing our flaws and setbacks with compassion allows us to live more fully and authentically. Gratitude is another powerful tool for cultivating acceptance. When we focus on what we have rather than what we lack, we shift our mindset from scarcity to abundance. Gratitude helps us see the good in our lives, even amidst challenges. By regularly practicing gratitude, we reinforce a positive outlook and strengthen our ability to accept and appreciate life as it is. Acceptance also extends to our relationships. We often have expectations of how others should behave, leading to frustration and disappointment when they don't meet these expectations. By accepting people as they are, with all their strengths and weaknesses, we can build more harmonious and fulfilling relationships. 
This doesn't mean tolerating harmful behavior, but understanding that everyone has their own journey and challenges. By practicing empathy and compassion, we create a space for authentic connections and mutual growth. Principle number 10, living according to nature. Epictetus and other Stoic philosophers emphasize that living according to nature means recognizing our place in the world and acting in accordance with our rational and social nature. At its core, this principle is about living authentically and in harmony with the universe. Living according to nature starts with self-awareness. It requires a deep understanding of who we are and what our true nature is. This involves introspection and reflection on our values, strengths, and purpose. By understanding our natural tendencies and inclinations, we can make choices that align with our true selves rather than conforming to societal expectations or external pressures. This principle also means recognizing and accepting the natural cycles of life. Just as the seasons change, our lives go through different phases, growth, stability, decline, and renewal. By accepting these cycles, we can navigate life's transitions with greater ease and grace. Living according to nature involves cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These virtues are the guiding principles that help us navigate life's challenges and make ethical decisions. Wisdom allows us to see things clearly and make informed choices. Courage gives us the strength to face adversity and take action. Justice ensures that we act fairly and honorably in our relationships. Temperance helps us maintain balance and self-control. By cultivating these virtues, we align our actions with our natural rational nature. Stoicism also teaches us to live in harmony with others. As social beings, we are naturally connected to those around us. Living according to nature means recognizing our interdependence and contributing to the well-being of our community. This involves practicing empathy, compassion, and cooperation. When we help others and build positive relationships, we fulfill our social nature and create a more harmonious and supportive environment. Another aspect of living according to nature is embracing simplicity and focusing on what truly matters. In a world filled with distractions and materialistic pursuits, it's easy to lose sight of our true priorities. Stoicism encourages us to strip away the excess and focus on our core values and essential needs. This might involve simplifying our lifestyle, prioritizing meaningful relationships, and dedicating time to personal growth and self-care. By doing so, we create space for what truly brings us joy and fulfillment. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of acceptance and gratitude in living according to nature. Accepting the natural flow of life means letting go of the need to control every outcome and trusting in the process. It's about being grateful for what we have and appreciating the present moment. Gratitude helps us recognize the abundance in our lives and fosters a positive mindset. By focusing on the good, we cultivate a sense of contentment and peace. Living according to nature requires us to be mindful of our impact on the environment. As part of the natural world, we have a responsibility to care for the planet and preserve its resources. This involves making sustainable choices, reducing waste, and respecting the delicate balance of ecosystems. By living in an environmentally conscious way, we honor our connection to nature and contribute to the well-being of future generations. Incorporating mindfulness into our daily lives can enhance our ability to live according to nature. Mindfulness helps us stay present and aware, allowing us to make intentional choices that align with our true selves. Whether through meditation, deep breathing, or mindful observation, these practices help us connect with our inner nature and the world around us. They encourage us to slow down, reflect, and act with purpose. As we conclude our journey through these Stoic principles, remember this. True power lies not in controlling the world around you, but in mastering your own mind and actions. Embrace the wisdom of Stoicism and let it guide you to a life of inner peace, resilience, and fulfillment. Thank you for being a part. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out one of the suggested videos on the screen. 
Stay strong, stay grounded, and continue your path to wisdom.